units can help us actually in performing our calculations correctly. Scientists often use uh, the technique of dimensional analysis to double check whether or not the, the results of a calculation came out correctly. For example, if you were to calculate or be asked to calculate a velocity or a speed and your answer came out in anything other than units of length divided by time or an acceleration it came out in some units other than length divided by time squared, you might guess that your answer was incorrect or that uh, uh, you've made a mistake somewhere along the steps of your calculation. So let me just give an example of trying to use such a, a technique to, to double check or to more speedily answer a problem. So if we imagine a ball on the end of a string, um, which moves with speed v. We'll come to derive this expression soon enough, but even from the choices given, I can show you that one of the following multiple choice answers would, would be the unique one that would give you the correct units for acceleration. So if we imagine here now a ball moving on the end, like a tether ball, uh, moving around in a circle with the speed v, you could be asked. Uh, to differentiate between the following answers. If we inspect each of these separately for what is the, the units of the expression given, we're looking for something that has uh, units of length divided by time squared because that's what acceleration is. So this one right here has a length over time because of its velocity and multiplied by another length. Then I have a length squared over time, which is not correct. And if this one is uh, length squared over time squared, and I multiply by yet another length, I have length cubed over time squared. That's not correct. This is length divided by length over time, which just becomes time in the end. The lengths will cancel out. Answer D actually is correct. It looks like it's length squared over time squared, but then I divide out one of the lengths. So it becomes length over time squared. Answer E becomes length times length squared over time squared. So actually that's the same as answer B. And answer F is length over time divided by time by length squared. So that becomes 1 over length over time. And that's not correct. So the correct answer here is this one. Because in this case only do we have length squared over time squared and we're divided by 1 over length so it becomes length over time squared which is required for any answer about acceleration.